Half of the world's population lives in urban areas. Policies on urban planning and regeneration have become a priority for governments in order to convert their cities into functional and livable spaces. Una de les tendències de la de la de l'evolució de les nostres ciutats un, i una de les seves més preocupants eh, característiques és el el tret de que els grups socials tendeixen a separar-se sobre l'espai. Com que la possibilitat de triar lloc de residència és una funció de la renda de les persones i de les famílies, com és obvi, aquells que tenen més poden triar més i aquells que tenen menys poden triar menys. És a dir, que tenim que aquells que menys tenen tendeixen a concentrar-se en les àrees més degradades, les àrees més mal servides. In 2004, the regional government of Catalonia launched the Neighborhoods Law, an extensive urban regeneration program with the objective of improving physical and social conditions of the neighborhoods. The initiative was accompanied by two complementary programs, Employment and Health in Neighborhoods. La llei de barris té exactament aquest objectiu, és a dir, intervenir en aquells àmbits que necessiten d'atenció especial, aquells àmbits que són els més degradats, aquells àmbits on es concentra la major problemàtica social, però no intervenir d'una manera, diguem-ne, sectorial, no amb el tema de l'habitatge o amb el tema dels serveis, sinó en tots aquests àmbits a l'hora. I això és la, són les polítiques integrades de rehabilitació urbana. Researchers from the SOFI project working at the Public Health Agency of Barcelona have analyzed the effects of the physical and social improvements of the neighborhood's law on the well-being of neighbors. In Barcelona, 15 neighborhoods were financed by the neighborhood's law, the majority of them being deprived areas in Barcelona. Among these, the first five that had completed all projects were selected for two studies, which we present here. The first study analyzed the perception of neighbors towards changes in their neighborhood, and results showed that the majority of the neighborhood's law project had positive and important effects on their health. Una de las cosas que se pelearon mucho para que se hicieran fueron los ascensores de la calle Alcántara. Esto ha sido estupendo, porque si no, para poder subir a la montaña caminando, imposible. Imposible era para nosotros. En el Toniguida hay muchas entidades. Y una entidad que es la más grande es la xarxa de intercambio. Te relacionas con otras personas, hablas con ellas, estás distraída, te enseñan cosas. Y a mí particularmente me, me ha ido muy bien, me va muy bien. En Toniguida yo digo que es mi segunda casa. The second study analyzed data from the Barcelona Health Survey with a sample of neighbors representative of the population to learn about the changes in two health indicators. The changes produced in the neighborhood that had been intervened by the neighborhood's law were compared to the neighborhoods that were not intervened but had similar socioeconomic conditions. Here, we see how in 2011, self-rated health improved in respects to 2006 in the intervened neighborhoods, while no changes were seen in the comparison neighborhoods. Mental health status also improved in women in the intervened neighborhoods, while in men, the intervention appeared to prevent the worsening mental health that was visible in the comparison neighborhoods. We have also observed that the improvements in health were more important in the more deprived populations. This research has helped to show how urban renewal policies can improve the health of the population. In the city of Barcelona, it appears that the neighborhood's law has improved health and reduced health inequalities. <laughs>